The Dead Space remake of 2023 is remarkable. It truly feels like a remake. Not only that the game is more impressive to newcomers, but there are surprises for veterans of the series as well. The developers changed some moments during the levels, so that even if you know the first game by heart, you won't know this one. Even if it keeps the very same story progression, changes in the execution will make it a new experience even for veterans. If before there was only a dialogue in a part of the story for example, now you get a full-fledged cutscene for that part. Jump scares also happen at slightly different moments and some parts were slightly altered so that even for veterans this will be a new experience or at least they will see many surprises even if they knew the first game by heart. Jump scares also happen at slightly different moments for example and so on. The lore of the game is also expanded and now Isaac, the main character, has a voice. You upgraded yours already? In the first game he didn't have. The game also manages to improve and introduce new very welcomed mechanics, like for example now instead of floating around in zero gravity, you get thrusters. And this improves the experience big time. The asteroid section from the original, which could become annoying and stressing, has been replaced by Isaac going into zero gravity and calibrating the guns by targeting the asteroids with his weapon crosshair. Also another detail I like is that the creepy atmosphere in the game has been enhanced. In the first one you knew that you were safe in the tram, here you don't. The experience is what makes the game so great, it is creepy and immersive, especially if you play the game with headphones. I have played the game with the 3D audio headphones from Sony and I can tell you that the game was a completely different experience. The voices, the cries on Ishimura, the sounds of necromorphs banging on the walls of the ship. It makes you want to look twice where you go. So if you play this game, I recommend you to play it with headphones, especially ones that support 3D audio. The experience will be something else, even compared to playing the game with normal headphones. So look into it to have 3D audio enabled headphones. Also what enhances the experience more is the DualSense controller. The adaptive triggers and vibrations makes the game much better than the original on PS3. As for the story, if you are new to the series, Isaac goes on Ishimura, a planet cracker, to repair it. There the team finds out that the ship is infected with zombies called necromorphs. I won't tell you more as that will spoil the story for you. What I've told you is the premise of the game. In the game you have 7 different weapons at your disposal, you can use stasis and kinesis both during puzzles and during combat, you have a GPS that leads the way and a lot of creepy moments to go through. You can buy ammo from the store, you can upgrade weapons and your suit at the bench. Ammo in the game is scarce, especially if you play the game on harder difficulties, even playing on story you will consider that the ammo is pretty scarce. So you need to be careful how you shoot. Also a detail in the game, necromorphs need to be shot in the limbs. They need to be dismembered, headshots aren't as effective. The only thing that displeases me in the game is that Nicole, Isaac's girlfriend, is older than in the first game and I, I don't know why. She was cute how she was represented in the first game, she didn't need a remake. I consider the new aesthetics a downgrade rather than an upgrade. But aside of this very tiny detail and maybe some more nitpicks, the game is marvelous. It manages to enhance the experience from the first one and improve on many fronts. The game has expanded lore, much greater graphics, fixed gameplay mechanics, and the 3D audio and dual sense vibrations makes it an auditory and tactile delight as well. So the game doesn't hit only on the visual and emotional level, it hits on many levels and I recommend you to try out the game, it's amazing.